Watching severe weather right now across the Midwest. A severe thunderstorm from watch issued areas of Missouri and into Iowa until 6 o'clock tonight here. So we're talking uh, after the sun goes down as well. We still have that danger of this. More showers and thunderstorms. But look at this radar here. We got showers and thunderstorms. On the backside, we have snow with thunder. Thunder snow going on right now across areas of Nebraska. But let's go down this line in terms of all the warnings we're dealing with here across areas of Iowa. These are all severe thunderstorm warnings for Adair, Audubon, and Guthrie counties till 3 o'clock this evening. Uh, we also have uh, Ringgold and Union counties here still in Iowa under severe thunderstorm warnings till 245 local time. Let me cross the border into Missouri and watching uh, Davies, Grundy and Harrison counties under severe thunderstorm warnings until 245 this afternoon for that line of showers and thunderstorms coming on through here and we're still watching plenty of lightning with this cell and uh, currently the one just on the Missouri border here with Iowa Harrison and Mercer in Missouri until 245. But the bit one of the biggest concerns here the damaging winds whether you have the storms or not it is a very breezy and unsettled day across the Midwest. Kelly and Paul, we've seen the incredible destruction a tornado can cause, but just how powerful can a tornado get? Our severe weather expert Dr. Greg Forbes shows us the true force. It's amazing to see some of the things that a tornado can do. Maybe it shouldn't surprise us considering that some tornadoes can have horizontal winds over 200 miles per hour and extremely strong updrafts that can pick things up. One of the things that we see a lot are tractor trailers that get tossed about. At about 15 tons empty, that's pretty impressive. Let's freeze this and I'll talk about how this happens. The tractor trailer is heavy, but it has a lot of surface. It's about 70 feet long, 13 to 14 feet high. That's a lot of area for the winds to blow against, and some of the tornado winds can get underneath. They can go upwards 100 miles per hour, lift up the tractor trailer, even make it fly. Now I'm going to show you something not as big, not as heavy, but I consider even more impressive. Look at these parking blocks. They weigh 300 pounds, and it's hard to imagine how the wind can get under them. It must take winds that are extremely strong just within inches of the ground to be able to begin to roll these, and then it can pick them up and toss them through the air. In most tornadoes, we think the fastest winds are really about 50 feet above ground. Blocks like these got tossed up to 50 yards. Finally, let me show you something that I consider even more incredible. Some tornadoes have even been known to scour soil right out of the ground. It's hard to understand how that could happen. You can reach down and try to pull some out with your hands, but you'll just tear up some grass. It's difficult even enough to shovel soil out of the ground. We even saw dirt get pulled out of the ground in the EF5 Smithville, Mississippi tornado back on April 27, 2011. Maybe a trench up to the width of a football field and two feet deep. It even tore asphalt out of a roadway surface. How do we think this can happen? A combination of wind force and pressure force. Wind force, winds unusually low right down to the ground to push on the soil. While there's a pressure force, maybe a moisture layer underneath that got vaporized pushing upward while low pressure in the tornado pulled upward and popped the sod right out of the ground. Well, of course, tornadoes not the only threat. Sometimes you get what's called straight line winds. It can also do a lot of damage. Yeah, and again, we're seeing a lot of that concern because even behind the system, winds are still very strong out here. Mm -hmm. So we have dry air aloft enters a thunderstorm. Thunderstorm, you also have moisture in there as well. And the rain evaporates in the air and cools the air. And evaporation is a cooling process. Yeah, you don't just have the updraft in a thunderstorm, but the downdraft as well. And as that rain comes down, you get that heavier, colder air that's going right along with it, right? And then it kind of expands when it hits the ground. Yeah, it hits the ground and then just shoots on out like a, in a straight line and you'll see a lot of damage where the trees are all blown over in that same direction or debris in that same direction. That's the signature of straight line wind damage versus other maybe a uh, herringbone pattern could be more tornado type signature and of that's damage. that's exactly what the National Weather Service, what they do when they go out and survey the damage and they determine whether it was a tornado that hit or straight line winds. Unfortunately, we have the risk of both today, this afternoon. More updates on the forecast after this. Can a protein or originally found in a jellyfish improve your memory? Our scientists say yes. Researchers have discovered a protein that actually supports healthier brain function. It's the breakthrough in a supplement called Prevagen. As we age, we lose proteins that support our brain. Prevagen supplements these proteins and has been clinically shown to improve memory. It's safe and effective. For support of healthier brain function, a sharper mind, and clearer thinking, try Prevagen for yourself today. This is Henry, expertise staining carpet. But this is new life-proof carpet with stain-resistant technology built in to help keep tough stains out. 
Let's do this. Get any carpet installed, including new stain-resistant life-proof for free, only at the Home Depot. I'm not ready. Intel's best processor is here. So you can take this very real, very terrifying memory and edit it, share it, play it back in 4K quality. Introducing Intel's new 6th generation core processor. It's our best processor ever. Attention. The CDC reports that 1 in 3 adults 65 and older fall each year. And 80% of these occur in the bathroom. Don't let it happen to you. For over 30 years, Premier Care in Bathing has helped people prevent falls, bathe safely, and live at home longer. We were the first walk-in tub to earn the Arthritis Foundation's Ease of Use commendation. All our walk-in baths feature a low entry step. Wide doors can be used as showers and feature hydrovescent therapy, which soothes aches and pains, improves circulation, and eases painful arthritis. And our easy access showers feature no barrier entries, wide doors, and fold-down seats. With payments as low as $150 per month. Owning a Premier Care Easy Access Shower or Walk-In Bath has never been more affordable. Even better, the Hydrovescent Therapy Upgrade is free on all walk-in baths. Call 1-800-331-5109 to own a Premier Care in Bathing Walk-In Bath or Easy Access Shower for payments as low as $150 per month. That's 1-800-331-5109. Call now. Stay! 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 More stay, Pearl. Shit. Sit. More sit, Pearl. Watch me, watch me. Pull over, pull over, pull over. Whoops. More? Who's training who, Pearl? Bounty is two times more absorbent. So one roll of Bounty can last longer than those bargain brands. So you get more life per roll. Bounty, the long-lasting, quicker picker-upper. And try Bounty napkins. Introducing Metris, the mid-size van from Mercedes-Benz. It's got small ability, and big ability, towing ability, and stowing ability, rack ability, and HVAC ability. It's fully customizable and sized just right to give you cupcake ability, entourage ability, garage ability, and even affordability. Starting at 28950 Available in cargo or passenger from Mercedes-Benz. We are the party's last and only hope. Lord, help us. Currently in our area, 52 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Tonight, rain developing late, low 46. Chance of rain, 80%. Thursday, showers in the morning, then partly cloudy in the afternoon. High, 58. Chance of rain, 60%. Thursday night, partly cloudy, low 38. Winds could occasionally gust over 40 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Closed captioning brought to you by Eggland's Best Eggs. There's only one egg that just tastes better with more vitamins and 25% less saturated fat. Only Eggland's Best. Better taste. Better nutrition. Better eggs. Welcome back to Weather Center Live. If you're just joining us, we are tracking a pretty potent storm system working its way across the country right now. In fact, 27 million people could be impacted by this severe weather system. So places like Columbia, Missouri, students at the University of Missouri should be on the lookout for this afternoon and this evening for strong and severe thunderstorms. Same goes for you in Shreveport, Louisiana. We're concerned about heavy rain, lightning, damaging winds, and yes, even possible tornadoes. So, of course, we do have the watches that are in place right now, including that tornado watch goes until 6 o'clock Central Time. This means conditions are favorable for the formation of uh, thunderstorms that could spin up tornadoes. And again, it's also as it continues through 6 o'clock, so after the sun starts to set as well, so sometimes you won't be able to see this coming as well. You're going to see this line of showers and thunderstorms and numerous severe thunderstorm warnings stretch from Missouri into Iowa, almost a continuous line there. And the backside 
got cold enough air for snow. Yes, it's fall, clash mm -hmm. the seasons. You even have, you know, snow in very close to areas where you have lightning as well. So perhaps even the classic thunder snow, thunder snow is that's occurring right. right now in areas of uh, Nebraska. Our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes, is monitoring the storms. We want to go to him for more. And Greg, I know you just sent out an email as far as what's happened so far. A little bit of hail, a little wind. Any tornado confirmation? Yeah, there's, well, I don't, I can't say confirmation, but just uh, has been a, an unconfirmed report come in of a tornado damaged some buildings in Corning, Iowa, and we had a 76 mile per hour gust measured near Harlan, Iowa. So that's what we're dealing with today. Quick hit or miss tornadoes. Uh, at least let's hope they're quick uh, and mostly miss and not too many hits, uh, but a lot of damaging wind gusts right now off to the north and east of Omaha, all the way down into north and east of Kansas City. We have severe thunderstorm warnings and one brand new tornado warning in there for Mercer and Putnam counties in north central parts of Missouri. So we'll take a look. We'll start from the northwest and go uh, southeastward uh, in there. Uh, this uh, storm up in here in Shelby County had uh, the 76 mile per hour wind gust uh, and uh, a funnel cloud, some damage. Uh, now a dare Audubon, Audubon and Guthrie counties could be damaging winds. Uh, you see uh, all sorts of uh, lines, little line segments here that sometimes there's little kinks in the line that can produce tornadoes. Uh, Clark, Madison and Union counties with severe thunderstorm warnings. Then uh, at, at times you see lavender core. So there can be, there have been at times some golf ball size hail. Decatur, Ringgold and Union counties in Iowa with severe thunderstorm warnings. And now Mercer and Putnam counties with a tornado warning there. Uh, let's take a look and see a little bit more of the details of that. I'll uh, change to this one on the fly. So this will be up uh, close to Morgan uh, in uh, northern parts of Missouri. This is a uh, Doppler indicated tornado warning going to be up around the Morgan area and then heading off uh, toward the north and east of that in areas of uh, Marion and Princeton, uh, Missouri as well. And then a big line of thunderstorms down into Caldwell and Carroll and Livingston counties, and there's a tremendous amount of fast winds aloft. Now Carroll County uh, also has a tornado warning. So these are the areas here, south central parts of Iowa, down in the northern parts of Missouri that have very fast winds aloft, and the uh, sun is out in some of the places. You see where, where you see black here, that means you're seeing down to the ground instead of the cloud tops. Uh, and you see here the, the white shaded areas, that is the, where that we're seeing some of the thunderstorm tops, and a lot of spin in the atmosphere, surface upper air lows, low that is uh, giving uh, a strong rotation source to the atmosphere. We can also see that here where the color coding is the temperature. So with the temp with the sun out, temperatures in Missouri here in places are in the 70s. Contrast that with Iowa. Uh, 50s and low 60s, so not nearly as unstable there. So I'm worried about Missouri and extreme southern parts of Iowa as having the best of both worlds. A lot of rotation and a lot of uh, possible, a lot of that strong low level winds. The upper low is, uh, as I was sort of showing you, is scooting from around just north of Omaha off toward the north and east. So places like Dallas and over into Shreveport that are warmer still don't really have the upper air forcing not and not as fast winds a lot. But they do have a cold front coming in there. So isolated severe thunderstorms from Texas, Louisiana, across Arkansas, parts of uh, Mississippi and, and Tennessee and western Kentucky. Later on this evening, nor, uh, into Illinois, and that we will have the, the upper air forcing coming in there. Torcon values uh, with that combination of ingredients most favorable, southern Iowa, northern parts of Missouri, even parts of central Missouri. Threes then, those are fours, western Illinois as well. Threes then down to Arkansas and Texas where we don't have as much of, of the combination of ingredients. So be on the lookout for all of that. There are just a few thunderstorms in southeast parts of Missouri here and, and there in Arkansas and, and down into Texas. So uh, we are getting uh, pretty uh, busy in terms of the severe weather coverage. We'll continue to keep you as best as we can ahead of all of the storms. Paul? Right, thanks, Dr. Forbes. Two quick questions for you. One, the timing for St. Louis of these storms getting that way, and also even Chicago is at risk. What type of things could they see later on tonight? Chicago is probably about 10 30. Uh, St. Louis is probably going to be this evening, early evening. Uh, they could get damaging winds. I think Chicago, uh, not so likely to get a tornado threat, maybe a damaging wind gust. St. Louis, though, uh, could get damaging winds and maybe even a chance of a tornado if that line continues to build south as much as it has been uh, farther north in Missouri this afternoon. All right, thanks. That's a severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes, kicking us ahead of the storms. Kelly?
wind energy with this system as well. So even outside of any thunderstorms that you could see, we're looking at some winds gusting as high as 50, even 60 miles per hour. Chicago and Milwaukee, we've got wind advisories going into effect for you this evening, right through tomorrow evening. But you jump over Lake Michigan into places like Grand Rapids, you've got a high wind warning in effect. That means those gusts are going to be up around 60 miles per hour. You'll get that push of water on shore too, right along the, the coastline of Lake Michigan. So your winds right now, you can definitely see them coming around from the north and west around that area of low pressure, calm in Denver, but across the central and southern plains, this is where you've got some pretty impressive gusts. We're talking gusts to 40 miles per hour right now in Kansas City, Oklahoma City, actually gusting better than 40 miles per hour. So hold on to your hats. Be careful traveling, both hands on the steering wheel. Watch those high profile vehicles as well. We've got that tight pressure gradient going on with this area of low pressure moving across the lakes tomorrow. And you'll notice as these lines are very close together, these are lines of equal pressure when they're packed that close together that actually tells you just how fast the winds are going to be blowing and you can see the gusty winds stretching from the Dakotas through much of Minnesota all the way eventually into the eastern Great Lakes through Friday so it is going to be howling out there places like Detroit Cleveland we got the winds coming for you as well note the darker purple that's where we have the high wind warnings in effect including Omaha so not just severe weather but even strong winds are possibly possibly going to do some damage out there as well Winds between 50 and 60 miles per hour for Kansas City. Note how the winds really begin to increase later tonight, and they'll be strong throughout the day tomorrow in Chicago, the Windy City. That's right, winds 40 to 50 miles per hour, even as we head through 2 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow. So, Paul, besides the severe weather, we've got this going on as well. We certainly do. In fact, let's talk more about severe weather. We have a couple of tornado warnings we want to get you updated on. We're heading, for, I believe, first to Iowa. There's one in Iowa and one in Missouri. Let's uh, show you. Here we go. Iowa right now. We do have, uh, I believe that is uh, Carroll County under a severe uh, tornado warning right now. This cell is moving at 55 miles per hour. Freeway speed here uh, right now. It's Doppler radar indicated. No confirmation of this actually being on the ground, but we also have the risk of a uh, large hail, perhaps golf ball size or larger. Plenty of heavy rain and lightning coming on through there. You can see the larger picture here, this entire line blasting from the uh, areas of eastern Nebraska into Iowa and northwestern of Missouri. Now let's head to Missouri. We also have a tornado warning here. We're going to zoom in just south of the Iowa border here. We have Mercer and Putnam counties under tornado warnings until 3 o'clock this afternoon. And again, we're still dealing with the risk of damaging winds even without in being in that tornado warning area. And wouldn't be surprised to see a new severe thunderstorm watch or maybe even tornado watch issued east of here as we get later into this evening. Again, there's a severe weather danger here across the Midwest. We'll keep you updated as we head throughout the night. Currently in our area, 53 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Tonight, rain developing late, low 46. Chance of rain, 80%. Thursday, showers in the morning, then partly cloudy in the afternoon. High, 58. Chance of rain, 60%. Thursday night, partly cloudy, low 38. Winds could occasionally gust over 40 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. The cold truth is, if a cold keeps you up at night, you can't just catch up on sleep the next day. New Alka-Seltzer Plus Night Cold and Cough Liquid relieves tough cold symptoms and quiets coughs for up to eight hours to help you sleep at night. New Alka-Seltzer Plus Night Liquid. Brought to you by Alka-Seltzer Plus Cold and Cough. How do you host the holidays? Plan for a crowd or a few? I'll hop or window shop. However you build cheer, Black Friday savings are already here. Save over 700 bucks on the Samana refrigerator. The Home Depot. More saving, more doing. <laughs> I love 
Rudy's smile. So I give him these milk bone brushing chews. It's a treat that's proven to clean as well as a toothbrush to help keep his teeth and gums clean and healthy. This is my favorite. Say it with milk bone. Do you suffer from constipation or irregularity? Trust Dulcolax for dependable relief. Try free at DulcolaxOffers.com. Dulcolax tablets are comfort coated for gentle overnight relief. Hurry, try free at DulcolaxOffers.com. Dulcolax, designed for dependable relief. Happy, happy, happy for you and me. Happy, happy, happy for you. Aww. Intel's best processor is here, which gives new PCs three times the battery life, so you never have to stop watching. Thanks. Introducing Intel's new sixth generation core processor. It's our best processor ever. When it's your job to protect the world's greatest nation, it's your responsibility to solve the world's greatest challenges. This is why we search for the best and brightest, why we train for every eventuality, on land and water, in the air, space, and even cyberspace. We operate in a complex world with one simple mission, win. Grandpa's 70th birthday party, and we're here at Burlington to get dressed up. They have great brands, and there's always something new. Oh, honey, I like this one. They have the latest trends. Oh, those are so cute. Wow, great price. Happy birthday, Grandpa! Attention, if you've had an IVC filter placed in you to prevent blood clots, the FDA warns these filters can fail and cause serious injuries and even death. If you have a blood clot filter, you are at serious risk. Call the Goldwater Law Firm right now. If you have a blood clot filter, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. Call us right now. If you or a loved one has a blood clot filter, call 1-800-240-4300. That's 1-800-240-4300. Approaching Medicare eligibility? Don't put off checking out your Medicare options until 65. Now is a good time to get the ball rolling. Medicare only covers about 80% of Part B medical costs. The rest is up to you. That's where AARP Medicare Supplement Insurance Plans, insured by United Healthcare Insurance Company, come in. Like all standardized Medicare Supplement Insurance Plans, they could help save you in out-of-pocket medical costs. Taking informed steps really makes a difference later. That's what it means to go long. Call now and request this free decision guide and explore the range of AARP Medicare supplement plans. All plans like these let you choose any doctor or hospital that accepts Medicare patients. These are the only Medicare supplement insurance plans endorsed by AARP. Call now and request your free decision guide and start gathering the information you need to help you go long. So watching severe weather right now across areas of uh, Iowa and even Nebraska, as well as portions of Missouri right now, including a couple of tornado warnings we're concerned about. In fact, a new one just issued here in Iowa. We're going to keep a track on, but right now we still have uh, Carroll County under tornado warning until 3 o'clock this afternoon, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Also reports of uh, perhaps quarter to golf ball size hail coming down uh, with this cell. Uh, quarter uh, size hail and a little farther to the south and the east here in Iowa. We're watching Clark, Decatur and Ringgold counties under tornado warnings that goes until three o'clock this afternoon. This warning just issued uh, moments ago then across the border into Missouri here. Mercer and Putnam counties under severe thunderstorm warnings. That warning also goes to three o'clock. This cell moving to the northeast at uh, 55 miles per hour with some quarter size hail. And again, we do have a tornado watch up for this area of Iowa and Missouri until six o'clock this evening. And there's discussion about extending a watch or uh, putting a watch out east of here as we head later on this evening. But right now, this is our only watch going until six o'clock this evening, but expect something uh, to be issued as we head later on this afternoon. Kelly. Meanwhile, Paul, it is a beautiful day in Atlanta. I just checked on the temperature. It is 74 degrees. Yes, that is sunshine. It's our first full day of clear skies in Atlanta so far this month of November. It's been raining pretty much every day since Halloween. Uh, we had highs uh, peaking in the mid 70s today. It'll get a little chilly though as we head on into the weekend and we will have a little minor system, just a little one coming through later on tonight into tomorrow morning. All right, Charleston, South Carolina, you have also 
also had your share of rainy days this month. In fact, we're seven inches above average. You've had well over seven and a half inches of rain so far this month and nearly 25 inches above average when you factor in what you've had the whole year. Sunshine though, tomorrow or today and tomorrow, beautiful temperatures up around 80 degrees for the low country here. Gorgeous back towards Atlanta, down towards Jacksonville. These are your current conditions. Note the clouds though, they are on the increase out in, in advance of that next system that's coming through. We'll have to watch those thunderstorms as they move through Memphis and eventually into Nashville. But Paul, the good news is there's not a whole lot of moisture associated with this. So just a sprinkle or two and then we're pretty much done with it. Yeah, amazing. 12 straight days without sunshine. Hey, soaking rain and gusty winds are a bad combination, especially for trees. Just in recent days, right here in Atlanta, we saw huge trees topple over on homes, cars, even streets. And while the weather conditions play a part in a falling tree, it's not the only factor. Take a look. When storms blow through, downed trees littering the roadways and rooftops are a familiar sight, but there are many other contributing factors as well. First, most trees, about 90% of them, only have roots 18 to 24 inches deep, regardless of their height. And if you add rain three to four inches at a time, the soil around the tree will weaken. If you have any kind of drainage problem where you've had water running down or taking your topsoil or, or, or cutting a kind of a groove into the soil or just change in general, that, that's going to cause the trees to probably have a higher potential to, to fail. Trees in developed areas are even more susceptible. When people build driveways right up next to them or build a house right up next to them, you, you basically got into that root plate and, and you've, you've, you've damaged the, the balance of the tree. Then there's the weight of the tree itself. There's a period there, right, late summer, about three weeks, say August, September, where everything is very heavy and you're going to see a lot of limbs breaking live and dead. And that can happen with wind gusts as low as 30 miles per hour. So here are some things you can do to reduce your risk. Use mulch two to four inches deep as far out from the tree as you can. Have your trees inspected each year. And have your trees thinned each year, not only to reduce the weight, but to allow the wind to pass through and reduce your chances of the tree being uprooted. And right now, behind this system that's moving through this weather, we still have strong gusty winds coming through. So, yeah, winds toppling trees here is a huge issue. Look at this, sustained winds in that 20 to 30 plus miles per hour gusting in Dodge City to 46 miles per hour. So that's going to be a concern, though, as we travel. So again, tonight into this evening, Interstate 80 here to Omaha all the way to Des Moines could see strong and severe thunderstorms, damaging winds, possibly even tornadoes. Everybody ready? The cushy job. The big yard for the kids to play in. A dog. The American dream. It's a beautiful thing. Alaskan Bush People season premiere on Discovery. Check your local listings. I state your name. I, I right 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 right. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Because the weather impacts your day in a hundred ways you see and a thousand ways you don't. I want to make sure everybody can get an idea of what's happened here. So include us in your routine. Let's get right to what you want, and that is the weather. AMHQ, every morning starting at 5 on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 53 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Tonight, rain developing late, low 46. Chance of rain, 80%.
Thursday, showers in the morning, then partly cloudy in the afternoon. High 58, chance of rain 60%. Thursday night, partly cloudy, low 38. Winds could occasionally gust over 40 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. take this very real, very terrifying memory and edit it, share it, play it back in 4K quality. Introducing Intel's new 6th generation core processor. It's our best processor ever. How do you do the holidays? Pick a Christmas tree or put one together? Colorful lights or classic whites? However you build cheer, the Home Depot is here. Trade in your old lights for up to five bucks off LEDs. The Home Depot, more saving, more doing. Discover card. Hey, so I'm looking at my bill and my FICO credit score is on here? Yeah, we give you your FICO credit score for free. Awesome sauce. The only person I know that says that is Lisa. Julie? We've already given more than 175 million free FICO credit scores to our card members. Apply today at discover.com. Yeah, I'm just not having any luck dating. <laughs> Then why don't you try eHarmony? We've helped over a million people get married. <laughs> that sounds great. Stop waiting. Start communicating for free today. Come to Boston Market for a full menu of meals featuring our fresh, never frozen rotisserie chicken starting at $6.99. And this holiday season, spend more time with family and friends. Let the holiday experts do the cooking. Boston Market, all good. This holiday season, I want everyone together for Christmas. There's no place like home. How'd the jewels get in your mouth? <laughs> I thought it was a lozenge. And the Coopers... It's Christmas! ...will do whatever it takes... Next talk. Take the internet, it's faster. You got it, Aunt Fishy. ...to get there. Nice and easy. Bye. We don't spend much time under the same roof, but no matter what happens, we are our family. Well, here, here. <laughs> Love the Cooper. Trapped in your current vehicle? High prices got you down? Have no fear. The heroes of hometown Kia will save the day. Battling high prices. Protecting you with a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Keeping your budget safe with a low monthly payment. The heroes of hometown Kia will save you time and money. We want to see you in a hometown Kia. Make this holiday season magical with a more power switch event from Suddenlink. Call now and get St. Nick quick internet that's much faster than phone company internet, empowering you to connect to more of the things you love faster and easier than ever before. With Suddenlink, you get enough bandwidth to power a whole house full of devices wirelessly. Make the holidays magical with a more power switch event from Suddenlink. Switch today. Get 50 meg high speed internet for $35 a month when you bundle. We are the party's last and only hope. Lord help us. Still tracking severe weather across the Midwest here. And take a look at this. One of the most widespread issues we have here is what's falling with these thunderstorms. Yes, lightning and yet rain. Let's go inside the radar here. We can actually show you the hail sizes. So we're talking one inch is quarter size hail, meaning it's a severe thunderstorm. And we've even seen uh, perhaps hail about half dollar size falling here as well. So uh, almost every cell here has some type of hail shaft with this as well. Not to mention some of these thunderstorms are rotating and possibly even the rotation is reaching in the ground, so we have tornado warnings up here for Carroll County here in Iowa until 3 o'clock, the 10 minutes on this warning, and then a little farther to the southeast. Again, that's cell moving uh, northeast at 55 miles per hour. And then we have Clark, Decatur, and Ringgold County here, also under a tornado warning here in Iowa here. It's getting close to the Van Wert area. This warning also goes till 3 o'clock local time. And then uh, now Wayne County under a severe thunderstorm uh, tornado warning. It's a new tornado warning until 3.30 local time. And we have one just south of here across the border into Missouri, which is also a tornado warning for you for the next 10 minutes for Mercer and Putnam counties. That's severe weather. We're also tracking a hurricane. Kelly's got a <laughs> tropical update. Very late in the year for this to be happened. Not the latest hurricane, but certainly the latest to form at this latitude longitude. We're talking about Kate. Winds are 75 miles per hour, so it's a category one. It's moving to the east northeast very quickly at 44 miles per hour, well to the north and east of Bermuda. But Kate is the fourth hurricane of the Atlantic. 
Atlantic season this year and also the latest hurricane on record to form so far northwest in the Atlantic Basin. But the latest hurricane to form is actually back on December 2nd of 2005. Here's the water vapor imagery. You can clearly see the moisture associated with Kate. Lots of dry air starting to train in on the southwestern side of the system. Uh, but really, Kate is going to continue to accelerate and waters of the northern Atlantic. Wouldn't be surprised at this time tomorrow we were dealing with tropical storm Kate and then eventually losing its tropical characteristics as it heads over into the shipping lanes of the North Atlantic. But we have seen a relatively busy year. Of course, Joaquin was the last one and that was a huge hurricane that caused all kinds of problems in the Bahama Islands. Climatologically speaking, this is the area the, the, uh, to watch for formation of storms. And in November here in the Northeast, some of these states have been hit once by a tropical storm or hurricane, but note how the number goes up, especially as you head down into Florida. So this is not the time to let down your guard. Remember, hurricane season goes all the way through the end of November, and sometimes they can go into early December. But Paul, these are the landfalling systems that we've had during the month of November. Pretty impressive there again. I'm talking about two weeks before Thanksgiving, and believe it or not, there have been plenty of fall hurricanes, and some of them still hold a devastating place in the history books. Jim Cantore takes a look back. Now that fall is here, we can relax, right? Not a chance. Some of the most destructive hurricanes in history have taken place in October and November. One of the deadliest hurricanes on record was an October storm named Mitch. This hurricane obliterated parts of Central America and Mexico and is still revered today. It was the portion of its lifetime when it slowed down, it weakened wind-wise, but it then dumped extremely heavy rain day after day over Central America, causing extreme flash flooding and mudslides. Then it moved into the Gulf of Mexico, and on November 4th and 5th, yes, November, Mitch made landfall again, this time near Naples, Florida. Another fall hurricane with a wicked history, Wilma. She throws more wind at you. Wilma set the record for the lowest pressure recorded in the Atlantic Basin in a hurricane, and it went from a tropical storm to a Category 5 hurricane in 24 hours. In 1954, Hurricane Hazel ripped the North Carolina-South Carolina border to shreds, killing 95 Americans. It was the latest of the season and the farthest north for any U.S. Category 4 hurricane. Mitch. Wilma, Hazel, all late season cyclones that illustrate why hurricane season lasts through the end of November. And Hurricane uh, Wilma ripped up the beaches in Mexico and the, they right. still haven't even recovered from Sat that. Sat over the Yucatan for a long time. Yeah. Hey, coming up in 60 seconds, our severe weather expert will join us to look at the areas in store for more severe weather for the rest of this evening. And some areas, believe it or not, are dealing with snow and lots of it. How much has fallen and who could get even more snow over the next 24 hours? Is it causing any travel problems? We'll take a look at that as well. Hey, we're coming back right after your local on the 8th. Stick around. Currently in our area, 53 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Tonight, rain developing late, low 46. Chance of rain, 80%. Thursday, showers in the morning, then partly cloudy in the afternoon. High, 58. Chance of rain, 60%. Thursday night, partly cloudy, low, 38. Winds could occasionally gust over 40 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Right now, we 
are tracking a potential severe weather outbreak across the central U.S. Strong thunderstorms, gusty winds, hail, and we cannot rule out the threat for tornadoes. We are timing out today's threats from now right through the evening hours, right here, right now on Weather Center Live. And already we've got a tornado watch in effect. We've already had several tornado warnings as well. We are in for what could be a very dangerous afternoon and evening on this Veterans Day. I'm Kelly Cass. And I'm Paul Goodlow. 27 million people are being targeted by strong and severe thunderstorms right now. And this is the same system that dumped several inches of snow in places like Flagstaff, Arizona, even Denver, Colorado last night and this morning, and also many other places across the western plains as well. And Paul, that system is heading to the east. The severe threat is also ramping up up as well. So we are timing it out for a few cities here. Uh, we're talking about Des Moines. Note how the storms are really not too far away from you guys at this point. Uh, so we're going to have to watch out for damaging winds, possibly some hail. Uh, you'll note that that line of thunderstorms is extending all the way down into northern and central Missouri. And Paul, the tornado warnings are still being issued for that line across the middle of Iowa. Yeah, they're still popping up there. In fact, uh, new tornado watch warnings are being popped up uh, as we uh, look along this system as well. But Let's talk about the timing here because we head towards the afternoon hours thinking about getting the kids off the bus and then maybe even uh, people driving home from work, what the weather conditions will be even this evening. A huge area here for strong and severe thunderstorms, especially severe here in the area in red and the timing. Well, uh, it's not ideal for uh, many people. We're still talking about St. Louis here basically now through the evening hours through at eight o'clock tonight. We have a four in the Torcon, meaning a 40 percent chance of seeing strong and severe thunderstorms. We slide north past Mark Twain's birthplace, Hannibal, Missouri, then into Iowa here where severe weather is going on right now. Eventually, it starts heading towards Des Moines as we head over the next couple of hours. Basically now through the beginning of dinner and time hour, a 40% chance of seeing tornadoes there as we head into this afternoon. And we still can't rule off the southern part of this line blasting through the Arklatex and into Arkansas. Little Rock, we have a three, which means a 30% chance of seeing tornadoes from the system. But as Kelly mentioned, we are already dealing with the risk of severe weather and tornado warnings right now across parts of the plains. With more, let's bring in our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes, who is tracking this line right now. Greg? Thanks, Paul. A very, very busy afternoon. Getting busier. At least three storms right now with tornado warnings. At least two tornadoes have been preliminarily reported thus far. Some funnel clouds, some golf ball size hail, 76 mile per hour wind gusts. So it is busy. Most of that is uh, getting close to the Des Moines area. The reds here, you see a couple of three tornado warnings. And then down in the north central parts of Missouri with severe thunderstorms storm warnings outlined in yellow. We'll take a look at uh, some of these. Taking a look here, this uh, storm that was in here around the Carroll area previously had been tornado warned. Uh, that one is now severe warned. Carroll and Crawford counties and then continuing off to the north and east there, uh, the Calhoun, Sac, and, and Webster counties. Most of these have been circulations that have been on the back side of the line, little curly cues, little comma heads like the punctuation mark. Uh, so we could still get another one of these that would head up to the area west of Rockwell City. Sliding a little bit farther down to the south and east then, can you see this little wraparound that looks like a little hook in there? It's a comma type bow echo rotating head. That one has some rotation in that green and Guthrie counties. These are flying. They're hitting 55 to sometimes 65 miles per hour off toward the north and east near the Bagley, the Jamaica, the Yale areas. That will go off to the west of Boone. Then a little bit farther to the south and east. This one is coming uh, again. It's a little circulation embedded in the line heading off to the west side and in the southwest of Des Moines, Dallas and Madison counties, the DeSoto, the Earlham, the Winterset areas, the possible tornadoes. Then additional storms uh, with some of these. Look at this one of the lavender cores. This could be golf ball size hail heading up to the area between Osceola and Russell. And then down east of Allerton in south central uh, Iowa. This one has come in from Missouri, Wayne County, around the Allerton, the Corydon, the Seymour areas, possible tornadoes. Look at this. Here is one of those circulations. The circulations come and go very rapidly. So this particular storm is not tornado warned, but uh, there in the uh, Youngstown area, uh, there's a, a real strong rotation signature that has developed on that. So we're, one of the days today where even if you're only severe thunderstorm warned, doesn't mean you can't get a tornado. These little circulations come and go very quickly. There's the Wayne County storm uh, that, I, that I mentioned with tornado warnings. Uh, and then a line of thunderstorms, some embedded individual 
cells. Grundy, Lynn, and Sullivan counties down there in northern parts of Missouri. Tornado watch until 6 p.m. We're likely to get additional watch or watches farther to the east and south into Illinois and into other parts of Missouri. Uh, right now, Des Moines and Kirksville, you're included. Kansas City, you are not. What you see here in the satellite picture is a big, deep layer rotation. Low pressure from the surface up to mid layers of the atmosphere. Where What we're also seeing are places like here where uh, the sun is out, and so that's allowing it to get warmer down into Missouri than it is even in Iowa. Iowa has probably the strongest rotation. You can see how the winds spiral around to a low there east of the Omaha area, but the temperatures with the sun on in the 70s, Arkansas and Missouri, so different mixtures of combinations and a strong low-level jet Missouri into Iowa.